Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're playing some Life is Strange 2 with uh, Sean and Daniel. So please like, comment, subscribe, so... share the video, tell me this what you think it? in the comment section. Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. That's a weed farm. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. They're bud tenders, aren't they? I'll show you around. Um, it just freeze. I think it froze. Yep. All right, we'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. We had just finished episode two and we had hopped on a train. Made it further, made it out of the load. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. You knew that when the dad died. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Why did you call Chris a raccoon? Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't get hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. Which is entirely stupid. It came clean in Seattle, and maybe you could have came and lived with your grandparents here in Beaver Creek. You'd have at least been able to sell, talk, and hang out with Layla. Where are you at now?
So happy I could shit. The grub. Do you have a flashback? Yeah, that was your room at the beginning of the game. I'm guessing... Yeah, boobs. I'm guessing you're listening to copyrighted music. Not a single fuck. You have to be having a flashback. No way, you little shit. I call your brother a little Daniel, shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> Three months He's before so the incident. Busted. Always cherish those around you, you never know. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. He'd probably want to so smoke it with not you. Find it. Look at all the pictures of Layla. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. First Scored practice. At the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Pat thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. This is three months ago. Guess we key some pictures on my old phone before I get rid of it. Fantasy book. Lighter. Headphone. A tool. Banana and hot dog fucking water bottle. Home keys. That's weird because that looks like the thing Chris gave you. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Yeah. Flying to your first job. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. Statistics sucked. I hated that class in college. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Who's up for Reservoir Dive tomorrow? Pass over. But shit, he's going. It's his birthday. In his birthday suit. How? There's going to be a big fence. Jump a track star, wire cutter, just in case. Take a rain check. No way, birthday boy. Enter the phone. No backing out. Looking... <sighs> Kind of lame. Swipe left. All right. I don't see anything else in here. So this is three months before the incident. Ah, oh, no time for this. Where are you? They're probably gonna bury me in this thing. Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. Is that... Of course. Like, I wanna play fucking hide and seek. Mm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? 
Hey, Minecraft's fun. Got this for a girl in the, the eighth grade. Thought I chickened out. Great way to lose a few I thousand. I used to now. play with these at Ellery's. Oh, man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. Aaron Diaz. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24 7. Man. Uh, thank you so much for the box My candy. I love clear. that you are nice. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? The kid, he's making something fun. Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Sucks to be Daniel. But he can't bug me all the time. I grew up with a big family, so I'm used to if I was there. having patience with <sighs> Asshole. kids, I guess. Hey, neighbor. I want to let you know I didn't appreciate you calling the cops on me and my friends last week. I know it was late, but it was Saturday and we weren't having a big party. They just asked me to turn the music down. Plus, we didn't leave those bottles in the gutter on purpose. Instead, you made a big show and got the cops involved. They hassled us for an hour. They even thought I stole one of my own cars. Glad the kids weren't home to see this. Try knocking next time, your name. This is open. Oh. Maybe he's invisible now? Yeah, I grew up. I have uh, four sisters, three brothers, 14 nieces in there. There's a Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. I hope he does it again so I can come this time. That's what go down there in a second. Could be anywhere. Oh, shit. Needs to have more patience with this. Sorry, brother. Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Well, take it. Daniel is psyched. But I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Got two doors. We got one door. Whoa, hold on. Let go. Stop it. Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Don't hurt your brother. That hurt. Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. You just tickle. Got it. Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your room. What's a room. Aww. Watch out, man. You started it. Dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Tell the truth. We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad. He's totally lying. You little enough! Uh, you both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. Learn patience and love for your brother. It's bullshit. Okay. 
You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? <sighs> Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look, please. Listen, Sean, I can't do this on my own. I, I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up, you need space, more freedom. I get it, but we're a trio now and you gotta take some responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> Little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. You're spoiled saying he's spoiled. I know spoiled. that. And I do look out for him. I swear. But he's a little brat. So are you. are you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy. But we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. Yes, <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this, but I'm proud of you, both of you. Okay, <laughs> get back to work. Boobs. Smoke a doobie. Gift cover letter. You showed up. Off to go fart on the little brother. Can I come in? It's the big bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening. La 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 la. I Come don't on, hear anything. Dude. La la la. Well, that's going on blue. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Leave me alone! Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. Um. Yeah, oh, robot or yeti? I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Why are you still here? Good question. Spaceship? A robot? Sean! I'm gonna. Pam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Well, that was me. No battery. Duh. I can't hear you. That was not the thing to grab. Well, this was glowing blue, too. Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. 
No problem. Because I know you're Mr. Careful. Okay if I sit down? So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... Growing up. Hard. I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. It is boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! You just rewarded him this for stealing. This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Unless you blow up a cop. You got a dog licking your foot. Mm. Why is he done facial hair yet? Gift. Man. Beaver Creek feels so far away. Beaver Creek. <laughs> Timber. I have no idea what that says. Something. All right, Day Dana really fucked up. He has to set things straight with that kid. Again, can't read that. I know it says 2016. Not really in the mood for Xmas, but I'll play along for Daniel. He really misses having fun like any normal kid. Hello, Xmas. Wow, there's 73. All right. Okay, December 11th. So that says 11th. Is that 11th? Your ones look like an M. My brain hurts. Daniel's pissed. We had to leave. I don't like it either. Now we're back on the run again. Now he's mad that he had Chris about. Hey, there's some cross that. Chris having powers. He never listens to me. Could have been worse. I wish I could stay here with us. I, I from I hope you get soon, old man. Get well soon. 
They were hopping on a freight train heading south, what the fuck, but we're closer to Brutos Lobos. Daniel is cold and hungry like me, so glad he loves the train. If it weren't for fugitives, this would be a fun... It weren't... If we weren't fugitives, this would be a fun adventure. If so, it goes. November 12th, 2016. The snow is gone, which means it's go time for us. California, here we come. Almost again, not fair to Daniel. Hate this. Little wolf. We finally hit Northern California. Jumped off the train. Walked forever, but we found a little town. We had a dumpster dive for food. What now? Look for any work. Met a weird guy who said that we could get work on a local farm if we don't have any idea. I don't know why, but no choice. At least we found a shelter. People on the farm are cool. They don't ask questions. Great work. Won't get us support us locals though. Daniel likes the place. Good thing I can go work on my own. Weird being without him 24-7. Make your choices. I miss dad. Barbecue ribs. Yard work, 30 bucks. Clean porta potty, 25. Never again. New furniture, 20. Old deli sign, 20. Fuck this. Crazy how many missing pit person posters there are everywhere. What the fuck is wrong with this place? Emreus, adult. Burgers for Xmas Eve. First Xmas without Dad. Daniel's masterpiece. Talking up one dollar at a time. Putting up fences. Nailing shit not bad, just boring. Happy New Year 2017. Everyone's partying but us. Need to practice more. I miss paint. It was really cool. Citrus 5 is only color orange. Bored as fuck productions. I kicked off the ranch and the motherfucker only paid me half. What the fuck? He told me to call the police or get lost. Land of the fucking three bitches. We're so dumb. Daniel wanted to see the ocean, so we hitchhiked to Arcata. Not Arcadia. It says Arcata. We got this now. Easy ride. Glad we could do this for free. And water's nice and feel better. Daniel and fun. Hippie. Ground, lots of weed and something. January 22nd, 2023. Or is that 2017? Could be 2017. Fuck the lot. We bumped into those hipsters from the Exodus Mark. They actually work on a weed farm. Off the books. Well paid. They invited us. Happy fucking New Year. Cassidy. He's so cool and different from. The zero fucks get in, sings like a pro, jokes, funny as hell. Daniel's not sure about her, everyone else loves him though. Except Marilyn Big Joe. Like ain't all smirks, word giggles. My arms hurt, i gonna work, getting strong, need more sleep, I think she likes me. Yeah, that looks lethal. Ben, the green philosopher, leader of the group, knows anything about weed. Or knows everything about weed. He's also the sweetest guy I've ever met. Tell me everything about trimming and shit. Can't figure him out, but he's smart. Only Hannah can drag his ass. Knife mouth. Like hanging out with him though. Amazing Santa. We watched it in silence and smoked a joint. Fun to draw Hannah and Penny. They look like anti fascists from Santa Fe in Detroit. I think Hannah hates my guts. She's older and thinks I'm a fake. Penny has a theory for everything. Paranoid much, but he makes me laugh. We had fun cleaning up the greenhouse day fun. Feels good to make money every day and save up. Met some new workers from Europe. Anders and Ingrid. Or Ingrid. We couple makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little brat. He lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine now. Free. Meryl, the owner, Big Joe, the goon. 23rd, February 2017. Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night, every night. He wants to train more, but 
We don't have time, we gotta hide. So, we went... Seattle... Met the punk Panther Gang Hippie Parade. All the way down. Oh yeah, this is his art bullshit. So yeah, we went and have traveled. See, what do we got? He got everything but this freaking thing over here. Yeah, we'll start that for now. I have to actually click through all of these. What am I? Be recruit. There we go. Try to get Dana to draw again, but I'm not cool now. You got old bug. Hey, you got some condoms. Ah, you've saved up one thousand four hundred twenty-one dollars thirty-one cents. You're gonna get your shit stolen from you, though, probably. He doesn't talk about it, but. I know Daniel really misses Chris. Mm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. We used to have big rooms. <sighs> now all our stuff fits in a bag. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Another month. We'll be hooked up oh. for Mexico. Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Never know. I'm a real man now. Kind of. All right, is that everything? I believe so. Let us escape the tent. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. Did not See realize the game had nudity. Two months after Beaver Creek. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. All right. Do I need to do anything? Gotta say, I'm glad we took some of this stuff. We needed it. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. Why are we looking in Finn's tent? Oh, you got books. I always bought him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. Reading weed, condom wrapper. Glad somebody's getting some action. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. His map is like his Bible. Ah, 
can't tag a train without paint. Glad to see somebody has Finn's back. Finn, thanks for the postcard. It was great to hear from you again. I love getting to hear about your travels, and to be honest, I'm living vicariously through them. I've always wanted to see more of the country or even the world, but I took a different path as you found out. I know we talked about this before, but twenty years after a twenty years as a PO, I've seen many kids tossed in and out of the system, but we don't care about where they're going after they've served time. But that's what we should care about them the most. We didn't get along on our first meeting, and as I'm sure you remember still, I'm sorry about that, but I know I had to prove I was willing to help before you would trust me. I wasn't sure you'd that would happen. Don't laugh, I love being proved wrong and you did it. You showed me that on the other side of the pain and anger you wanted to learn to help others to feel alone in this world without friends or support. I'm glad to see you found a group you could trust and travel with. I'm still sorry about the trains and everything else, but you know that. I do hope that you find a place to settle into and call your home. I know you will. Things are a little tougher in the world than when I was your age, but every generation has to go through its own BS trials. I'm proud you're willing to practice what you preach. I hope this letter finds you well. Can't wait to read along your next ventures. And don't make this old sob wait too long. I need inspiration. Your friend, Kareem. Ah, oh, no more fog. Sweet. Jeez, she's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. Gotta have backup signs. We'll eat for food. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. You look at that tree, it's trees. beautiful. Ancient and majestic. Oh wow, the bird was pretty. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah, like you don't get pet enough around here. Dogs always want more pets. Did you see all it's that? It's nice to sit here there? together at night. Freaks me out. Know like inside. we're a part of something. Like that movie. The sun has saved us. Sit and draw. What am I drawing? No man <sighs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, Anders smoked too much again. I'll get him up before Big Joe gets here. Good. I want you to start the day with that asshole yelling. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. You drawing? It need more detail. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. These trees are just so gorgeous. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. I must tip. Anna's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. You're gonna call me, man. Gotta work together. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grass on the Yep. 
clean bucket. Oh, for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Dishes, grocery Yay. shopping, restock, water, tanks, fuel generator. Just do your fucking part. Let's go. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. These people are weird. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. Same here. Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Tanya won't either. Don't puss out if the narc show. Meryl takes care of his peeps. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair, he always puts us to work every season. Some of us need this shit job. Not the tourists here. Kush did. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere, soon anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom. I don't know. <laughs> Things have to change. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. <laughs> you finished the Welcome coffee. Welcome to Cafe Diaz. You got a brew. Try my special morning brew. Nice. I like that gourmet shit. It's always nice Lucky if you finish it to make more. Reminds me of that. Where from again? Sweden, Malmö. You wouldn't hear Water's about Water's kind of rare around here. <laughs> Everything goes into the plantations. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to well, pay the trip. I hope that shit was Most of them are into fancy hippie Oh, food. yeah. Good times. And fast food junk. Can I talk to them? I wish we came sooner. Oh. I feel like we will never see everything now. You did. Gotta ride with us, right? You saw the real shit. True. <sighs> you know, we got back to puppy again. What you doing? We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold. But fucking awesome. Man. I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Alright, anything else? There's a bucket. No, no bucket. Hey, it's cold. Lots of dead birds around the camp. Bet they put weird souvenir for a weird place. What's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. <sighs> My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. 
Oh, yeah. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Jacob. Not Jacques. Much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <laughs> Don't laugh. Aw. You can do your artwork. That's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <laughs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. That's my job now. Full-time Daniel Wrangler. He's really lucky to have you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Love. Hearts and unicorns. How about some hearts and unicorns around her name? Hmm. She might think it's too cheesy. Not if you mean it. That's what I'm being sure a big brother is. Big brother. Being cheesy. I don't know. I'm afraid Sarah's a bit mad at me for leaving her. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. Just like him. Ingrid and Anderson. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. In the end, all of our tents of life, as long as they work, serve a purpose. Thanks for guys the, sure the know shelter. how to live outdoors. They've taught me so much already. The one who looks like they need a shower is free. We shower okay. like once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? Living large and humbled. Is there anything else? Oh, posters. So many missing persons around here. It's weird that they're posted on the tree. Small opens to Che. I can't even make out what that says. Funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel the pretty. Tree? Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard and to believe. Then it's ours. All right. I think we've done everything here that we can. So off to the lake. They were headed to the lake. I should go check on them. That big tree. It's so beautiful. Sad that it's on the ground. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on. Once again. Yes! I fucking rule! <laughs> Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, seriously. I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Ben trained you well. Six bowl size dude yeah I got better lucky you can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts how did you learn to aim so good not true liar you're the one who sucks at baseball yeah <laughs> right hey wow what's the aim for your nuts 
I should have let you know, but but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. That's good. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? He can't do it. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. I can't even see past our head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean. Hold your right arm. More like this. Better alignment. Better aim. I didn't even see what it said. But... Dude, what's wrong with you? Why are y'all so up on each other? Trying to stabilize your aim. Come on, sweetie, one more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. That's the secret. Oh, fuck that! Huh. Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Uh... It's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You cheated. Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He wouldn't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop <coughs> telling me that. I hate it. Daniel, don't. Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Every time no. you've had to leave, it's been his fault. I said stop, Daniel. Don't run me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. Gotta remember, cop's death is because of him. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job. Okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. Don't yell at your brother. We've already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. And all you have is a P.O. box. You don't have an address. Really you and could write her a letter. Caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. Going down to South Park. I never get to choose. I'm the one with the power. Because you're not an adult. Dude, that's how it is. I'm the adult now. Okay? Yeah. Well, that sucks. Go grow up and become one yourself. Don't treat me like an adult. 
He understands. Uh-oh. Bid Joe. Uh, yeah, let's ask about the watch. Hey, <clears throat> you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Way less lame. Huh? Yeah. That's sad. Hey, your little brother doesn't anyway, love you no more. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. You're cool. Oh man, where are we? Is there anything over here before I have to run to wherever we're being honked at? Dude, Big Joe's waiting. Run, Sean. I almost called him Daniel. Run, Sean. Gotta get a big cup of Joe before Big Joe. Dude, that tree is just massive. So sad to see him cut down. I actually don't know where the truck is. So, one there. I'm guessing this way. Yeah, all right. We're gonna hear it from Big Joe. Talk about a farm truck. Taking Daniel with you. Guess more hands make less work. No pitter patter. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Illegal migrant workers. I'm wrong with that. That it crashed again. Hey, little man. So at this you point, I'm like, whatever, dude, nine, just five. give me more booze. <laughs> You know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Please. Yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Cool. Too, too much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. More for you. Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, it was so high time. last night. Are you showing jealous? Cool. No way. You, you He's a big boy now. Better to get out of his way. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I don't know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the night master I here? Guess. Did you lock the tent? You gotta see stuff for shooting in that even. So? Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> With us misfits. Like an outsider turning into dirty happy, feel free. I actually feel free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Don't hurt me. I lost. I'm, just, I'm glad you did. You can't get rid of me yet. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. 
He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. <sighs> okay, just don't be so mean. He's right there. Oh, Sean, are you crushing on Big Joseph? Oh, <laughs> that is so sweet. Sean loves Big Joe. Sean loves Big Joe. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. It is beautiful scenery. Oh wow. They're hiding the grow houses amongst the trees. I was wondering how they were going to do it. Shit, I'm so tired. Yeah, me too. Let's try to go to bed early tonight, okay? Yes, please. And no wheat. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Intervene, do nothing. Intervene, she'll like you more. You do nothing. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Honestly, none of your fault. You're late. Hey. Sounds like the guy in the truck you're came You're gonna late. get us kicked out of here. Well, I just want it to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. That is a nice growing setup. Wow. I bet it smells very pungent in there. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? No, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <laughs> Big Joe's the reason you're late. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. <sighs> like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey! You want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work in the next town. Kid. Your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, 
But this is a pot farm, and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Thanks again. Totally. Um, thank you again. Didn't you hear me? I don't speak kiss ass. Sorry, I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. What kind of shit? Jesus, what is this, an interrogation? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Are we going to get control back anytime? Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay. I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, you know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Dude, I'm trying to hit right now. But we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules, for now, especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right. So, Big Joe's a dick. The other dude's a dick. We're working with some dicks. I'm actually going to call it an episode there. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think down in the comment section. What you think of Big Joe, what you think of our other boss, and uh, you think it was right that we intervened and stood up for Cassidy. But let me know, I'll see you guys later, have a good day, peace.